Bill Heisinga on the other end of our AT&T line. Welcome back to the program, sir. Hey, MPS. Good being with you. Hey, I haven't talked to you in a while. What's shaking? It has been a little bit. Uh, oh, nothing. You know, nothing happening here in D.C. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's called gridlock, I guess. Right? Uh, I well, know. yeah, there's uh, there's a couple of things that I think have been uh, have been going on, and uh, trade, Iran, uh, you name it. There's uh, there's a there's a bunch, but uh, we've 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 been trying to plug ahead and trying to keep an eye on uh, West Michigan and uh, Michigan as a whole, and uh, we've had a couple of accomplishments in that. And your eyes are on Ludington these days too, and having to do with the EPA. Yeah, yesterday, uh, myself and Dan Kildee, uh, newer uh, newer member from Southeast Michigan, uh, we had a uh, we had an amendment to uh, uh, to an EPA bill uh, that was uh, trying to direct the EPA to uh, uh, to to think logically. I know this is a challenge, but <laughs> <laughs> to think logically, and, and there's a couple of uh, circumstances. Uh, you know, in uh, in Ludington, we've got something called the pump storage uh, uh, facility, and uh, what they do is at night when electricity rates are very low, mm-hmm. uh, they use uh, the energy to pump water uh, 363 feet from Lake Michigan all the way up into this reservoir, and the reservoir is two and a half miles long uh, and holds just billions and billions of gallons of water, and then when they need that energy at kind of peak times. Uh, they release it, and it's like a hydro dam, and uh, and they are able to get that uh, that peak energy, and it's enough energy that it uh, that it serves uh, it could serve 1.4 million people, million households. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this is this is not insignificant. Well, the EPA is trying to come in and, and mandate uh, states that have uh, uh, have a formula of how much energy that they are using, and they are going to count against. Uh, the usage, uh, the electricity that's used to pump the water up, but not then give any credit for the electricity that's generated when the water is released. And it's like, wait a minute, this doesn't make any sense. So you're going to penalize the state for doing something that's trying to uh, save uh, uh, carbon emissions and, and, and save ratepayers at the end of the day. And uh, so I was, I was glad that, uh, that uh, Dan and I were able to uh, come together on this and uh, and, and hopefully, uh, you know, the president has now issued a veto threat on this particular piece of legislation. But uh, it, hopefully, one, we'd love to see him uh, get a different change of heart here. Uh, but second, uh, we'd love to make sure that this gets the attention of the EPA and the administration. Well, you got our attention this morning. And how about it, ladies and gentlemen, Republicans and Democrats working together in Washington? That's what you wanted. In this case, you got it.